Arsenal 2, the shit lot Fulham 1. What a game. It was dead in the first half, 0-0. Nil -nil. Didn't really create much. Fulham obviously sat back. You get me? We were afraid of that. The Zeus guy. You know what I'm trying to say? But second half started much better. You get it? But still, penetration just went there, man. Felt like Martinelli was a bit off today. Set pieces were kind of terrible. Saka was like lacking that, that sharpness about him. The Zeus was always fighting and biting like usually. But he weren't getting the help and the service, I felt like. You understand? I feel like even since he's joined Arsenal, I feel like he's had to create too much. I feel like sometimes them and have to make it easy for him to just get me shlank a goal in. But obviously Arsenal went one 0 down. Gabriel, the guy who I think is very aggressive, but a bit erratic at times. You understand? Falling asleep. How can you be a centre back and take time on the ball like that when you know you got man like heavy man Mitro bastard behind him? That. Obviously Mitrovic gets the ball off him, scores. You get me? We know today the fans went back and forth with Mitrovic. He scored, started celebrating towards our fans and that. But guess what? It was nothing. That guy, Odegaard, again, possibly... When I think of players that play that 10 role, there's not a lot that are really like him. You understand? He's an old school 10. You get me? Gets the ball, finds spaces, blah, blah, blah. But he doesn't shoot enough. But when he shoots, he scores. Facts. You get me? Facts. He's, cool. He's got three goals this season already and he doesn't even like shooting. So imagine if he gets that habit of shooting, when he gets edge of the box, cut and shoot, he can get more goals. But obviously he got us back in there, 1-1. One, one. You're thinking, you know what, well, we got momentum there. And the guy who made a mistake, Gabriel, came back to salvage the three points for us. So what can we say? Three, four games, four wins, top of the fucking league, bro. points in the back. understand? Thank Does you. Man United want a piece of us, mate? Does fucking Chelsea want it? Does Tottenham want it? No one wants it. You get me? City as well. This year, nah, City, you have to calm down. You get me? With Man City, we have to calm down. But to be fair, like I said, today we didn't play that well, but we got the three points. And that's the most important thing. Unbeaten record. Arteta has changed my mind about him since, since watching the um, All or Nothing video. But I feel like I can see now what he's trying to do at Arsenal, create a culture, create a lot of players that are hungry for it. Mm. We ain't got players with ego no more. And yeah, man, I feel like this year, I'm not going to lie to you, only Man City threaten, man. You get me? I'm not really afraid of the Liverpools, the Tottenham, the Chelsea's, because mm. the way I'm seeing, we've got a culture now. We've got great number nine, we've got a good midfield, and we've got a solid defence now. You get me? And a good goalkeeper. So I feel like we can definitely challenge. But yeah, we can't complain. On to the next game. Am I, am I expecting three points again? And yeah. fingers as well. Don't forget, Arsenal have the youngest squad in the Premier League. Yeah, we've got the younger squad. You get so... me? The younger squad, the most experienced. You understand? So they've been playing Prem. You've got someone like Saka who's been a Prem now for how long? Martinelli, same thing. Jesus is still young. He's only 25 years old. All the guards, what, 23? Like, we've got a lot of young players, in it? And look, centre-backs as well. Saliba, young guys. 21. Saliba, bro. I've said it. Best centre-back in the world. Come on. Get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah.